as it stands now in almost all states and under federal law, the power of eminent domain is quite broad and therefore subjects private property owners to substantial risk. Under our system, the courts have relatively little room to change that baseline. Uh, as our legal system has evolved, um, it has become increasingly clear that it is the legislature that sets the rules for eminent domain. And in our system of democracy, uh, the courts are supposed to follow uh, the rules and principles set up by uh, legislation. Where the power of eminent domain is based upon federal law, uh, obviously that's Congress which has the ability uh, and um, maybe should take the action of reining in federal agencies uh, that go too far in taking property for projects and purposes uh, that are perhaps of marginal usefulness uh, rather than being highly useful. Where the power of M domain is based upon state law, well, it's a state agency or a state authorized utility. Again, the state legislature has the right and I would say the duty uh, to decide whether those people are going too far in trampling upon uh, private rights. In another context, uh, a little more than a decade ago, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court uh, decided a case that became rather instantly famous and controversial. Kelo versus the city of New London decided that uh, under Connecticut law, uh, Connecticut uh, was allowed uh, to condemn a residential subdivision uh, for the purpose of urban redevelopment uh, with uh, a redevelopment company after taking houses, uh, conveying those properties to uh, private entities, including creation uh, of an office park for uh, Pfizer uh, Pharmaceuticals. Kilo was a five to four decision uh, in which uh, the power of eminent domain was upheld, allowing that condemnation to proceed. Now, what's highly interesting about Kilo is that it was an unpopular decision. Uh, many people thought Connecticut was going way too far in taking homes that were not blighted uh, for an economic growth purpose such as this. And the backlash did not result in any change in federal law, but what it did was prompt many state legislatures, a large majority, to pass new eminent domain statutes uh, that limited um, condemnation in this particular setting. Uh, that is uh, economic development takings uh, and making it generally much harder for redevelopment authorities to take property for uh, those purposes.